I saw their loss coming and their dropping down coming. How did this come about, Spurs to really diminish to this level and shrink to this level of conceding very many goals? It's very much annoying and disturbing that a team that is coached by an Italian manager, who managers that we've known of the Catanasio, all being watertight at their defense and not conceding very many goals, for that of Antonio Conte, it's the other way around. His defense is porous. It's letting in lots of goals. How did it start? Against Sporting Lisbon, away. Against Sporting Lisbon, it ended 1-1 at, at Spurs. And Spurs had to come. I think, I think Spurs came back and pulled one back. They went ahead to play against Bournemouth. Bournemouth was ahead of them by two goals. They came back and really won that game of game of football by two goals to one. Marseille was one goal ahead of them. They pulled two and they really won that game of, four, of football. Now, against Leeds, it was worse. Leeds was ahead of them three times and Spurs scored four to win this game of football. And recently, the last game they played when the World Cup ended it was against Brentford Brentford was two goals up against Spurs Spurs went ahead to go ahead and really score two goals and they really drew that game of football I think it was Hodgeberg and Harry Kane this time round it wasn't the case no chance was given to them they've been beaten by two goals to nil moreover at their stadium called the new white lane stadium welcome to Rokani Media Football how are you guys and where you watching us from smash like button comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time, lower right bottom corner. Smash the black button that has the word subscribe after smashing it. Hit the notification bell. That will enable you to get notified every time we upload a video onto our channel. Now, yesterday, eight games were played in the Premier League. Two more left. And obviously today, one of them has been played and it has ended in favor of Aston Villa. Aston Villa lost. I think they lost to, was it Liverpool? By three goals to one, I think that was last weekend. Then this time around, they've gone ahead to say to it that they really win their game of football, another game of football away. And it shows you that Unai Emery has stamped his, his hand and system in the Villa side. Today, it really looked worse because Spurs needed to win to see to it that they will retain their fourth spot of the Premier League. Remember, United won yesterday and they went two points ahead of Spurs and they've been two points ahead of them. In this game of football, Spurs only needed a win to find themselves into the top four. But obviously, they've gone ahead to lose this game of football by two goals to nil. Edu Buendia and Douglas Luiz have gone ahead to score those two goals for Aston Villa, but Spurs really looked bad. Spurs really looked bad. And the body language of the players was not all that attractive. It was not all that message sending to the team of Aston Villa that we need points. And Antonio Conte had every reason to sign a six-month contract that is going to end in the summer because I believe Everything has been given to him, but he knew this project was going nowhere. That's it. Because when you look at the players he's having and the players has signed, he deserves to be having more results than teams like Newcastle. Player per player, I believe Spurs have more players that are really better in quality than, than Newcastle. But Newcastle is third. Newcastle is third. And I believe the only Newcastle players that really come into this Tottenham Hotspur side are Bruno Guimarães. Mm, which other player comes in there? Which other player of Newcastle comes in the Spurs? I think even Clean Trippier can get a position because I don't trust Emerson Royal. But Doherty, and they have Spence that really plays very well, but he's not always been, he's not given any game time. Um, which other player comes in? I think few, few Newcastle players, like two or three, come into the Spurs side. It's really that Spurs are really having an elite side. When you look at their front three, Song Hyun Myun, Kulseski, and Hurricane, that is an elite front three. But it was nowhere to be seen today. They really looked sloppy, slow at passing. And the game of football that Antonio Conte is making these players to play, it's of high intensity. The games they've been winning, all level leveling, coming from behind, that means they've been using lots of energies. And I saw it coming. 
when they survived that game of Brentford away and it ended 2-2, I knew they're not going to survive the game of Aston Villa. Aston Villa had lost to Liverpool. Unai Emery had to make a statement and they needed to raise the standards. When you look at Aston Villa, they are a team that really looks good, especially in the midfield and going forward. And they're having players that are really good on the ball. Leon Bailey, Eddie Buindia, Douglas Luiz, um, Ollie Watkins. So they're having good players at their exposal. So Spurs couldn't survive. They're having a very bad run. And they've been coming from behind to win all draw in very many games. So they've been using lots of energy and they've gone ahead to go on and do the needful. Now, it is really so much scary for Antonio Conte. I believe the owner of Spurs, Dan Levy, had given him a benefit of doubt to go on and really work with the club. Of, but a pawns that was respected to show up never really came up. So the reason as to why Antonio Conte stayed at Spurs and was not sacked by Levy is because he attained the top four position. But the way he's playing is 100% opposite from the philosophy of Spurs. We've watched Spurs under Pochettino, under Harry Redknapp, under which other manager. They've been playing football that is really, 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 really passing-minded. Build from the back, gain possession, and obviously go ahead and really kill off the enemy. That is not the case right now at Spurs. Things have gone ahead to change. They are playing pragmatically. Ever since they brought in Jose Mourinho, Nuno Espirito, now Antonio Conte. I don't know what Dan Levy is all about, but manager, managers who are, who are good are there. How did he miss out on Dizabi, who is coaching at Brighton, who was coaching Shakhtar Donetsk? That means his sporting director, Peritici, needs to go on and really improve on his scouting system. They need to get a manager to get back the cult and culture of Spurs. This is not the culture of Spurs. Spurs used to be having loads of possession when they are really playing the game of football. They used to be having schoolful players, you get, but they are nowhere to be seen. And Antonio Conte has no reason to give for him really losing these games. Why? They gave him close to five players in the summer. Spence, Kulusevski signed permanently, Benta who signed permanently, Yefis Besuma came in, Richardson came in. Those are five players that really signed for Spurs. And now, he is not really showing results. How can you lose to Aston Villa? Brentford, those are teams you're supposed to beat because in the rating, you are more stronger than them because Spurs obviously is more stronger than Aston Villa. And today, they really looked bad and I believe they are not going to survive any longer because when you look at the Premier League fixture, let me look at Spurs. What is their next game? Spurs is playing Crystal Palace on Wednesday and they are going away at Selhurst Park. You know how hard it is. I believe more dark days are really ahead of Conte. If his players don't step up, Conte might, might, might even see himself sucked. That's it. He might see himself sucked because he is really a manager that is really on tension now. Because in the 50th minute, Spurs, sorry, Aston Villa scored, Eddie Buindia put them ahead. And obviously, Douglas Luiz came ahead after 23 minutes and re-leveled the game. Where was Spurs? You ask yourself, how can a team score you and after 20 minutes, they score a second goal without you showing all threatening at their goal? And secondly, what is the, what's the importance of these defenders that are Spurs? What is their importance? They are not defending and the team is losing. So we need to know what are they doing? Christian Romero, Eric Dyer, Sanchez, Tanganga, what are their purpose at the club? I believe the guy is in really total shit and let's prove to him that he really gets his team back. But I believe if he does not get Champions League football, I think Spurs are really going to be out all fall out with him. Spurs had six shots. Aston Villa had 13. Spurs had only two shots on target. Aston Villa had four. Spurs had 60% possession. Aston Villa had 40% ball possession. 500. And 73 passes completed by Tottenham Hotspur. 401 passes completed by Aston Villa. 86 passing accuracy for Spurs. 79 passing accuracy for Aston Villa. 15 fouls for Spurs. 10 for Aston Villa. Four yellow cards for Spurs, three for Aston Villa. Zero red cards to both sides, one offside to Spurs and zero to Aston Villa. Five corners for Tottenham Hotspur and three corners for Aston Villa. Now, the table looks like this. 
Arsenal topping the Premier League table with 16 points, with 43 points, 16 games played. Man City, 16 games, 36 points. Second, third is Newcastle, 34 points, 17 games played. United is 16, it has played 16 games and they are 32 points. Look at Spurs, they've played 17 points and they're having 30 points. They've played 17 games and they're having 30 points, meaning that if United wins their game they have in hand, they are going to even go to the third position and they will be having 35 points. 35. So that means Spurs will be five points off the top four. And look at Liverpool. Liverpool is closing in. You get Liverpool wins its game. It's going to be in the fifth position at 31 points. Where is Spurs going to be? I believe they are still going down because things are not all that rosy for them. And Michela, sorry, and Antonio Conte needs to pull up his socks to see that he really gets back to the winning ways he started the season on. So, guys, thank you very much for watching in through. My man of the match in this game was and was was Douglas Lewis. Really played very well. And kudos to the manager. Unai Emery. Having failed at Arsenal, he went and reproved himself at Villarreal. Now he's at Aston Villa, again doing magic. He beat even Manchester United. He beat us at Villa Park by three goals to one. I remember that like yesterday, though when he went at Old Trafford in the Carabao Cup, he was knocked out at the fifth round by United when he conceded four goals and United swallowed only two. So your reactions are welcome in the comment section below. Spurs suffer another defeat by Aston Villa. Rokan David is my name. Happy New Year. May the Lord bless you abundantly. A sign out for now. See you later.